Okay. So I just want to say that Dolly, you were right, honey. You were right all these years. Wigs are the way to go. <laughs> and this one today that I'm wearing is called Sky and it's by Aesthetica. And if you want to know my thoughts on it, then stay tuned. All right, this is a wig. This is a wig. Uh, this is uh, my favorite one. I have I have them all hanging. Uh, I have several favorites. I have some Amazon favorites. I have some name brand favorites. And I'll do videos on all of that because uh, I just started with wigs a couple of weeks ago and I, I finally got up enough nerve to post about it on Facebook. And when I did, my messages blew up. I had so many ladies ask me about my wig and about uh, how to wear a wig and that whole whole thing. And apparently with COVID, there's been a lot of people that have thinning hair and that have lost their hair. I don't have that problem. I have really long hair. I just, um, I live in Texas. I live in East Texas and I'm a photographer, so I do a lot of my job is outside. It is hot most of the time. We've had Christmas Day before where it's 85 degrees. Um, so I started noticing that I was constantly wearing my hair in a bun or a ponytail. And so I thought that a wig might be a change. You know, I just kind of started out, I thought, well, I'll just see if, um, if I want to cut my hair. And so I got a couple of short wigs. That's what I've spent my money on mainly is short wigs. Uh, and I'm in love. So I'm thinking there's no need for me to ever color my hair, which I mean, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, but there's no need for me to cut my hair because I can have any style that I want to uh, one day and have something different the next. So I posted about it on my Facebook and I had so many people ask what wig it was, how do you wear a wig, um, where do you get it? So I've gotten, uh, I've gotten several videos that I have filmed and I'll try to put those out as soon as I can about you know how to put your hair up under a wig, how to wear a wig. So that's not what this one is today. This is just, there's Bojo. So today we are just going to talk about this wig. Uh, this one is by Aesthetica and I have my tags, but it comes in this pretty little box. Uh, there we go. Can you see it? Okay, so this one is by Aesthetica Designs. So this is called Sky and it is in the color RH1488 RT8. So it's a little darker up here. Uh, from the little bit that I know about wigs, that's supposed to make it look a little more believable. The color is the art, well the whole thing is the color, the RH1488 RT8. Uh, and it's a little more blonde than what I usually wear, but I am head over heels in love with this. I think this is just the cutest little um, kicky little style. It kind of cuts under. It's shorter in the back. Let me see if I can turn. Shorter in the back kind of angles forward in the front uh, and that's what I wanted. <laughs> this wig is everything. This is everything that I wanted. Uh, it's got the layers. I'm not a huge fan of parting down, parting down the middle. I'm not a huge fan of the center part and this wig is what they call a front lace. Uh, front lace makes it look like, and I've got makeup in mind because I made the mistake of putting my wig on first because like I said, I'm, I'm pretty new to this. You can see this line right here is my makeup that is in my front lace, so it needs to be washed. Probably shouldn't do a review video when it's not perfect, but anyway, it is what it is. So the lace just makes it blend to your forehead. So you can wear a style off your, if you didn't have makeup in it, see I have makeup all in it, but if you didn't have makeup in your hair, you can pull that back away from your face. You know, kind of cute. You could pull it away from your face if you have a front lace. If you don't have a front lace, um, they're not as cute. <laughs> you can definitely tell wig. Uh, it's just, and I've got one of those. We'll do a video on that probably tomorrow um, and I'll show you the difference between a front lace and a regular one. You don't want to show where it meets your scalp on one that's not a front lace. So I always, and I do have a couple of those. Um, I get them that have bangs and if they have bangs, you're good. You don't have to spend the money on a front lace all the time unless you're planning on doing different styles with it. Oh, I just love it. It's so, it's so cute. It doesn't have a ton of permatease in it. It doesn't have a ton of, I mean, you could poof it up a little bit, but it's really supposed to hang 
and mine, mine possibly may be a little dirty. Uh, because I wore this, this weekend I had a wedding and then I had two family sessions before that. It was, and I see a piece of glitter on my face. Sorry y'all, that's gonna trigger people. Um, so I wore this this weekend. Normally, I mean it was it was 97 degrees in Texas this weekend and uh, it was super hot. And so I thought, okay, this is gonna be my chance to wear my wig out in public. Uh, because usually I would say 99% of my life is my hair, my real hair, they call it bio hair in the wig world, uh, my hair is always in a bun or it's in a ponytail. And then in Texas weather, I sweat like nobody's business and so I look like I just got out of the shower. Half my makeup, I mean makeup, you know, you can use setting spray all you want to but in a thousand degrees it's gonna melt off your head. Um, and so my hair always looks horrible. Uh, so my point was, what I was saying is I wore this this weekend and I was melted. I was just dripping. And so I was cranking up the air, trying to cool off, and I thought I don't even want to look in the mirror to see how bad I look. Uh, so finally, I look and I see all the makeup and I'm like, okay, but my hair was perfect. It looked exactly like this. It looked exactly like how I left the house and I was, I mean, I was I was soaking wet. My clothes are wet. Not only do I love wigs because I can have a different hairstyle every day, I can have a different color every day, I can have a different length every day, but now in Texas weather, my hair looks perfect. And I mean, another benefit to the wigs is that you don't have to fix it. You plop that on, kind of finger style it, and it knows you know, how it's supposed to fall. It's like having the best haircut every single day. I love this one by Aesthetica. This one is my favorite so far, and I've got three or four that I'll do different videos on so y'all can see uh, the different looks. I love this color. It has an adjustable cap uh, where you can adjust it up to, I think, an inch to make it a little bit larger. I have a lot of hair. Um, my head is a 21 and three quarters circumference, um, which I think is considered average, but I do know that I've gotten a couple of different ones that feel a little tighter than others. Uh, and so, and I've got, my hair is probably, well, it's down to my bra in the back. And so uh, there's a lot of hair under this. I would think this is an average size cap. It feels perfect. It doesn't feel too tight. It doesn't feel like it's slipping around on my head. It feels great. And let me tell you where I bought it. So I got this one from Wig Outlet. Okay, so you get this little card in the box and it says that this was an open box um, and that's how I got the outlet pricing because the standard price on this wig, let me pull it up and show you. Okay, so the regular price on this wig is $245. This one, I was searching around and I came across um, Wig Outlet, which is over here. And it has this little tag in here that says that it's been quality checked. Uh, and it says it's not used, that it's just an open box. So that's where I bought it from. And let me tell you about my price because they had, I think when I ordered this uh, a couple of weeks ago, they had two choices. And one was the color that I got, the RH1488 RT8. What does that tell you? You know, I was trying to order and I thought, what the heck is that? So I started Googling and trying to find other pictures to compare it to. And from the description, I thought, okay, that sounds like a blonde. I mean, it is a blonde. So I thought, okay, here we go. Um, so I just took a gamble and went with that. It was the only blonde available. The other was brown and I definitely wanted blonde. See, mine's a little dirty because it's kind of wanting to hang on. Uh, and it's wanting to kind of hang on my shirt and not hang how it's supposed to. So I probably have to wash it. It was on sale. Are you ready for this? It was on sale for $154.95. Like I said, I was locked into this color, but that's the color that I wanted, so that worked out for me. Uh, and then I did a, um, I did a Google search, and I found a code which was all caps hello fifteen, the number fifteen, um, and you could save fifteen percent. So I put that in. And I saved twenty-three dollars and twenty-four cents. I got free shipping because I think if you're over a hundred dollars, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I got free shipping, and so then I had to pay tax. So my total for this wig was one forty, one hundred forty dollars and sixty cents. Uh, and I feel like I got an awesome deal on it. And this little cut is my favorite so far. Uh, I posted on my Facebook page uh, just a picture of it and said, okay, I'm coming out of the closet. I wanted to show y'all that I'm interested in wearing wigs and here's me in Aesthetica. And uh, 
here I am. And I had over 100 comments on that. Um, and then no telling, I didn't count, but how many messages of everybody asking me the details. So here's the details. Wig outlet. I will link that down below so y'all can go directly to it. I don't know if they still have this color or not. Um, but hopefully they will if you're interested in that. If not, let me tell you, another great place to go check out is Wig Studio One, like the number one. Uh, I've bought from them as well. They offer sales, uh, usually like 30% off, and it's kind of like, um, kind of like the way Hobby Lobby does, that if it's not on sale this week, hang on, it might be on sale uh, in a week or two. So if you're not in any rush, that's a great place to check out. So go check them out uh, and see what you think. But this is... This is so much fun. Oh, that looks a little crazy. It feels so good. It feels it feels like hair. It's it and it's lightweight, uh, not hot. Way cooler than the way uh, I've been shooting. Uh, it's it's just my hair looks the way I want it to look finally, and I didn't have to cut it. All right. So what do y'all think? One of my favorite looks. This is just so much fun. And so I'll do another one tomorrow and have long red hair. Who knows? Um, okay, so go check out Wig Outlet if you're interested in Sky by Aesthetica in the color R. What did I say it was? RH14 T. <laughs> Let me see. RH1488 RT8 is the color that I have. So if you're interested in that, check out the link below and uh, let me know how y'all think about wigs. Bye, guys. Done.